Hi, I'm John from Gentleman Whiskey. I'm Brandon. In this episode, we're going to try not to get racked. Drinking some stag. So, in this episode, we are talking about three batches of stag. We've got 22B, 23A, and then we have a store pick just for funsies. It's the control. It, it's because the control. If this is science. If that's what you need to tell yourself, that's what it is. That's what I need to it tell makes it a, It makes it a blind. Dude, literally, stag batches, yep. I can't pick them out. John poured them up into groups, and I split the groups up, so he doesn't know what's where, and I don't know what's where, other than it's all stag, and we're going to drink it. Absolutely. And then pick our favorites. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give them a nice ranking. It's your 22B. Yep. It's my 23A, thanks to our friend Jeff. And it is my store pick from Joe Canals. Because I only, is... I only have 22B. I've got one. I have yeah. one stag. Yeah. One deer. <laughs> <laughs> it's different. It's not a pun. You're, you'll get there. Drink a little stag, then Drink we'll a little stag, then we'll see. <laughs> All right. Left to Dude. right, drinking the stag. Cheers, man. This is one of my favorite bourbons, probably my favorite in my collection. This is some of the best, not available, but we have it, bourbon. I this, mean, this is a spicy boy on the nose. I feel like every time I drink stag, it smells amazing. It smells awesome. It's incredible bourbon. It really is the stag formerly known as Junior. I love it. <laughs> It's, it's proofy on the nose. Like, don't get me wrong. I understand why some people don't like stag. But for me, this is like the pinnacle. I don't mind a little bit of proof on the nose. I like a bourbon that is high proof, but doesn't necessarily like blow your palate with just all the proof. Stags tend not to be that. This one, this one on the nose, whichever one it is, it's not as fruity as some of the stags that I've had are. Yeah, it's a little bit of like... Like vanilla cake icing. So some stags that I've tried, it's that like Buffalo Trace grape just hits you right away. Yep. There's a little bit of fruitiness in there, but it's like underneath. It's a little bit like of like grape said. jam. Yeah. Like like Smucker's grape jam. Dude, I literally all the time, I get my Smucker's grape jam out and I just smell it. <laughs> Sick burn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. So if you like, okay. You're, oh, I, no. When, oh, when no. you're making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, right? And you put the, the bread I'm allergic out, to you, peanut butter. Okay, when you're making your jelly and butter sandwich or whatever. Never made those. Yeah, well. All right, imitation, imitation okay. peanut butter whatever and jelly sandwich. Whatever, you're, you're, you're jellying your bagel. Do you go like this and then just do that so you don't smell it? If, <laughs> this is so ridiculous. All right. Bread, no, but if you're coming at me. Bread's, a, yeah, we're going to go there. All right, I'm spreading on the jelly. Yep. If I'm standing and I'm standing over the table, like, yep. I can't smell it from there. I don't think my nose is as sensitive. Yeah, any anytime, like. My wife will open something in the kitchen. Really? Yeah. If she's brewing mint tea or, you know, cooking up chicken or opened up a bottle of wine, I can smell that from very far away. Dude, if I if I'm if I'm on the sofa in the living room, yeah, watching TV and my wife opens a bottle of wine in the kitchen, I can't smell it. Huh. But I'm just saying, like, I, I have always been able to like smell things from far away. So maybe that's a difference. Maybe you're making fun of me, but I just have a more sensitive nose. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm gonna make fun of you. For me, like whatever isn't there. Yeah. With or or my my sense of smell isn't as sharp, yeah. right? So like when people say those notes like Smucker's grape jelly, and I'm like, I have no idea what Smucker's grape jelly smells like. I can't tell. I couldn't mm -hmm. even. That doesn't in my brain. But like I make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I'm not smelling the jelly until it's like here. Mm. So Do you smell the danger. <laughs> <laughs> dude we gotta did you just drink this yeah <laughs> all right cheers. we've been i've been nosing this for an hour it's not been an hour mm. it's not as fruity no it's like spicy and mm -hmm. oaky oh man dude it's it's like rich dude it's making my mouth water the grape jelly note is there it's just, it's like hidden under like oak and vanilla and just like kind of brown sugar sweetness. Brown sugar sweetness, that's a good way to describe it. Wow, that's good. Oh, and it's so, it's so hot too. I'm not sure this is going to be my favorite. This seems a little off profile for stag for me. 
Well, I think I think missing that that fruity like that super prominent fruity grape note yeah does make it feel a little off profile. Like yeah. this, the seventeen ninety two store pick, the foolproof. This is more like that to me. Water's, Which those you have said, water's a good you idea. think taste like sag. Especially on the nose, I get staggy vibes sometimes. Staggy vibes. Staggy vibes. All right, Great. let's move on to two. Dude, let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. More stag. It gets some caramel off this one. It's like caramel forward. And then a lot of that grape note. There's like no proof on the nose. It's not as in your face as the first one is. In your face. Yeah, it doesn't give you the antlers right away. Oh, dude. <laughs> There's um, antlers on the bottle. And the cork. And the cork. And the foil that goes on the you cork. You gotta lean into the deer theme. I don't know. I agree with you also, like the, the caramely kind of like, and more fruity, like this is more of a typical stag nose. The nose on the first one was kind of like well-rounded. This one feels spiky. Like there's single flavors that are like very deep. Let's try it. Let's drink it. Drink the stag. Oh, that does not drink its proof. Man, that's crazy. That's very different. And now going back into smell after you've tasted, that grape note is like way in there and there's a little bit of like orange marmalade kind of vibes. Yeah. That is crazy. That is really good. That's really good. Fruity. It's a little more fruity on the palate. Yeah. The oak is, I think, underlying and it's more on the finish than it is on the palate. It's crazy how the first one, there's like, there's no proof on the palate. Right. But then on this one, it's like immediate. You get like that blast of like, I mean, proof. For me, like liking those, the higher proof stuff is because it's part of that experience. Right. It's like an explosion right yep. away. Yeah, it's like a pop. Yeah. It's like a Weller pop. Full Proof, a, a pop of flavor onto your palate. Yeah. Yep. That's what this is like. All right, three. It's a cool experience. Like it's, it, it's an experience as much as it is just whiskey. Would I sit down in the middle of summer and sip on one of these or mix it with Coke? Probably not. If it's super late, if it's nine or 10, right? And it's cooled off, it's down in the seventies maybe. Right. Frogs this... are croaking at the pond and I'm smoking a cigar. Right. For sure. I actually don't know that I would smoke a cigar with this because I like it so much. Oh, uh, that's true. And that's why like, I wouldn't personally mix it with Coke. I personally probably wouldn't put it on ice oh, dude. It's because I like it so much. But I mean, other people, that is their preferred experience. I agree with you and I feel the mm -hmm. same way. Like there's a number of bottles, one, because they're hard to get, because they're hard to come by, because right. they're more expensive, like on secondary, you know, okay, MSRP on this bottle is amazing. Most people are paying above MSRP, even a hundred bucks. Like a hundred bucks is a deal for this bottle, I, I think. I don't wanna mix it with anything because I wanna, I wanna experience all of it in its fullness, but to entertain that idea, I wonder what this would be like in Coke. I bet it would be wild. Probably. As far as like, compared to like Jack Daniels or, you what? know, Elijah Craig Small Batch or something. Maybe that's a video we have to make at some point. Uh... We'll take the 17 that we don't like as much. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm not going to lie to you. Selfishly, I, the first thought was like, well, I don't want to do that with my 22B. Well, then we'll do it with my 23A or 17 or store pick. Not the store pick. Yeah, you're right. Not the store pick. This one is hotter on the nose. It's hotter on the nose. And this one, I'm getting like stronger vanilla, brown sugar kind of stuff on the nose. I get really strong grape and then like brown sugar and a little bit of cinnamon. It's almost like a grape pop tart. Oh, like a grape pop tart. Yeah. Do they make grape pop tarts? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I'm I haven't a, eaten pop tarts I'm being, in a, I'm being a dick about the uh, the fine. food the food notes. Sorry, I equate things to other things. Uh, it's fine. After a little bit, it it moves to just primarily grape. This might be my favorite nose. The grape is so yeah. strong. All right, time to try it. Yep. Got to do it. Cheers. Mm. This might be number one. There's a lot of rye spice to this. On the palate, I actually think I liked two better. This one is a spicy boy. This one is hot and dangerous. <laughs> All I can think of is the Ketcher song. Yeah, it's, it's what so, I was referencing. so stupid. <laughs> the nose is even better after you taste it. That's a fun thing, right? So you know something, you taste it, you go back and nose it again, and the nose is different. Yep. A lot of leather on this one, too. 
has a lot of like leather and oak and brown sugar. And then on the palate, oh. the grape is like there on the finish, I think more than it is on the actual palate. It's like grape soda. That's actually a really good explanation because like the rye spice kind of comes in like a carbonation would. That carbonation kind of like causes like almost a spicy experience on your tongue, like a tingly experience. That's what this is like. Yeah, and like grape soda, not my note. Right. Everybody says grape soda about stag. And I feel like Buffalo Trace stuff. So, yeah. but this genuinely like, as I'm thinking about the finish, mm -hmm. that is what comes to mind. Yeah. I almost feel like two to me, drinks like the most typical stag profile. Yeah, I agree. I think one is the most off to the left. Right. Like this one is somewhere in the middle, but like, I think this one's my favorite. So the question Whichever is, one this is, is this the store pick that's three proof above the rest of them? Oh. Or is this 23A that we thought was a spicy boy to begin with? I don't drink them enough to be like, oh, that's probably that. That's probably that. You know, yeah. dude, the first one proofs in the back, man. It's wild. That one going back around actually tastes more like an ECBP to me. That's exactly what I was just thinking. I was going to say it's almost nutty just a little bit. Did you like swap the glasses for A123? So you're like, <laughs> no, so you're like ha ha, you like A123 the most. I would never do that. I didn't even think to do that. That would actually kind of be funny. All right, let's talk about it. What was your least favorite? Oh, man. I think the first one is my least favorite. I agree with that. Which one is your number two? Number two is my number two. Man, it's tough. I think the palette on two is better than the palette on three. Because I think the palette, palette kind of overwhelms three. But the nose on three is better than the nose on two. But I'm go three. Three, three is, is my number two. Yeah, three is number two. Leaving number two being my top. All right. And number the third one that we tasted is my top. Yep. Okay. So which one do you think is which? I'm gonna guess that the first one that we drank is the store pick. Okay. I'm gonna guess that a store pick is like outside of the normal profile, maybe. Maybe they got to pick from a couple and they picked one that they thought was unique. Mm -hmm. My Guess is that the middle one, the second one that we drank, is my 22B. Okay. Which is just kind of like in there as like a stag. And then that my favorite, the third one, is your 23A, okay. which we thought was spicy. Okay. I think that one is the 22B. I think two is the store pick. And I think three is 23A. Okay. So we both think this is 23A. The reason why is like on a blended versus a single barrel whiskey. On a blended whiskey, there tends to be more flavors and more rounded flavors, and single barrels tend to be spikier. And that's the experience that I had with number two, was that there was not a whole lot of flavors, mm. but the ones that there were were deep. All right, are you ready to find out? I'm so ready. Our order in groupings was two, one, three. Okay. Two is the 22B. One is the 23A. And three is a single barrel. Okay, so I got the one right. Yeah, you got one right. I would go that three is probably the best. Two and three were so close for me that your ranking, I think, determines it. Like, if I had to give them a score ranking, it uh, would be a quarter point apart. Oh, okay, okay. I wasn't thinking through, like, if we had to, like, right. somebody puts a gun to our head and is like, you must rank them. Yeah, we've we've gotten away from doing that just because it's... I think it's a little bit too arbitrary from day to day. The store pick is probably the best one. It's yeah. a spicy boy. Yeah. For amazing. sure. But it, it is very close between the two of them. I mean, dude, it was close with all of them. They're all amazing. But, you know, we've we've done this before. You know, we, we had a video where we did batches 14 through 17. And we really didn't like 17 that much. And then when we went to do it in our Shelf versus Tater series. So check above... For the links to both of those, the Shelf versus Tater one, the 17 was good. It, it really, I think, depends somewhat on days. So blinds are not the end-all be-all for us. I do think they're they're really valuable, though. Yeah. I wonder what our experience would have been had we known. But I think we actually went in order of proof, too. Because <laughs> the 22B is 130. I'm pretty sure this is 130.2. And then... The store pick is like 134.4. So wow, there's we did it. actually 4.2 proof points difference, which is not a ton, but it is, a, I think, noticeable now. 
I think with these it is. It's I wouldn't be fun. mad to own any of these. There is not a stag that I would be mad to right. own, right? Maybe 16. So. If there's a someone watching with an unopened batch 16, you know, if you think I should have it and you want it to be with someone that would appreciate it, treat it right, take it for walks every day. Batch 16. Take it for walks every day. <laughs> yeah. All right. If you like this content, check out our other videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Yep. Cheers. Ready to get racked? No. I will never, I will. You did say it at the end of the last video. It was ironically though. But it, it was like you were giving in. You were giving in to the deer. Ew. That sounds weird.